Captain Falcon is pretty good at this game. <laughs> Captain Falcon is pretty good. He's okay. So I know they are down in losers bracket. Yeah. Stock tanking doubles. Like yeah. Lot, whereas get a lot of aggressive play from uh, the whole of the whole and close <laughs> to TFU. Right now though, Divan really focusing down on Peach, yeah. trying to get her out early. You're probably going to say like a lot of like isolation, I think. Yeah, yeah, a lot of one on one. Fights. Yeah. Yeah. Well, since right now, whole foot's coming in together. It's like as hard as you knock Peach, she's just gonna float right back. <laughs> yep. It's very, very difficult to kill. That was Peach. nicely done by Deerbound, though. Mm. Ooh, no, yep, that's the stock. Dead. Yeah, nicely done. Oh, and your problem about playing Pokemon Stadium is TFU's. Oh, that shine! But the only problem with playing uh, Hall and Floats on the stage of Pokemon Stadium is Fox's up smash is just going to kill you yeah. so quickly. Oh, oh Moth smashes. <laughs> Needs to. Need oh. Oh. oh, wow. Peach's own down. What? Turned against her. I don't see what was pulled, but it just got a kill. Oh, was a, oh. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, we've seen it, uh, especially from uh, Deerbound as well, just reflecting anything he wants, he just does not care. Yeah, yeah yep, that is. With uh, nice with Green Crosser is uh, still on a really high percent as well. Yeah. Moth has thrown out the smashers like no one's business, but yeah, oh, there you go, another smashu, but oh, Dearman losing another stuff. Oh, there you go. Still uh, really even. Well, if Skull can... can that was a nice back air. If Skull can hold on to this uh, second stock of his, don't get... Oh, bad. Uh, That's a shame. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh, look at these box up airs, though. Just not getting a chance to beat. Nicely done. Oh, that that part was smart. Taking the start. Mechanics can do against a forward smash from yeah. right <laughs> the right base. So uh, that's gonna be Once again, even on stocks. Yeah. Right now, every time one team makes the advantage, they kill it right back. I can't believe how even it is. Like. Now we've got a spacey warfare going oh, on. that's uh, master. Demon's got to put the work in now. Right now, he's just gonna get juggled between hole and floats right now. And 2v1 is not a situation that you're gonna nah. come back from very often. But uh, oh. if anyone can do it, it is Diabao, <laughs> the playmaker. So uh, <laughs> let's see how he gets out of this one. Uh, oh! Let's get out of this one. Uh, Mr. Tekken got up, smash for it. The winner is <laughs> <Red> <laughs> okay. I haven't seen that movie. Is that me or you? No, uh, I think. I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I haven't seen that but movie. if I look, is that not James Franco, the guy that plays? Uh, yeah, I take that as a compliment. Yes, <laughs> I, I will. I will happily look like. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Definitely compliment. Okay, so uh, once again, here's the stage select. Exciting screen. The stage select. Yes. All the stages. Oh. Oh, nine Lucario. because it's Yoshi's, so. Have a almond tree Rex calling for Lucario. What's your oh. opinion on Lucario? Uh, I think if he's on my team, he's great. But if he's not on my team, I don't want to play him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play against him. Lucario, very scary. Hopefully, we should have. Um, have yeah, Lucario really is OP. They've the went FD as well, which is, FD, is a notoriously good stage for Marcel. Maybe uh, oh, yeah. Skull will do a little bit better at this. 
said, if FD was the only stage in Melee, the Moth would be the best character. <laughs> so, uh... Can't argue with that. Yeah. <laughs> Just imagine that C stick left and right like no one's business. Right? Yeah. The lack of platform just makes this combo game just so superb compared to everyone else's. That was a really uh, good shield. But uh you are making quick work. Oh Ooh. no up smash here. Still even on the stocks though. Divan's shield is so low right now because he's getting uh, punished by two. What now? Alright, I'll have to bear Floats going on second game. Right now it looks like a clear well, looks like a clear advantage to be made for Hall and Floats. Team UA was holding out a stock tank on Dear Bound, but it's very high percent. But Dear Bound's really aggressive play there. Just trying to keep Peach out, but she's so she's living, she's living to hundreds of percents because her float just means she can get back from anywhere horizontally. Vertical recovery, not the best, but the horizontal is like undisputably fantastic. Like, even in PM, with a lot of buff recoveries, she still stands out as being fantastic at surviving. The easiest way for Diabound to get rid of the Peach problem would be a down air, but, uh... So Deez doesn't exactly want to get himself into that sort of position. He's very careful with his positioning in terms of the enemy. And, ooh, a lovely combo there. Peach neutral air, hitting him into the Fox up smash, which is just fantastic. Fox's up smash. Oh. A tipper there from Scroll, fantastic. But right now, slight advantage going to Hall and Floats, but I don't know about this one. This could go either way right now. Both teams are playing fantastically. Oh, lots of tough, lots of shields going small. A shield break could be devastating. So they have to really be careful about that. And there goes Scroll. So, uh, dear bound. Very dangerous situation right now. 2v1. Last time this happened, didn't work out so great for him. Paul and Floats aren't the sort of team that'll drop things at the last moment because they want a four glory wombo combo finish. And uh, yeah, I'm not seeing the odds look too great for Diabound. Not gonna count him out because uh, he's definitely an exciting playmaking player. You can, but uh, very little you can do against a team that's just as solid as that. <laughs> 